Hey everybody, welcome to today's Lunch and Learn. My name is Dean Rufro and host of today's show. What if, what if, if you had a way to build the process to overrun your business with business? How would you go about doing that and why would you do it and could you handle it if it happened? That's going to be the, uh, the discussion on today's uh, Lunch and Learn as we talk about one of the five books that uh, we're going to be talking about today is the Dream 100 and, and why that becomes so important when you start looking at what happens in the business, right? So what happens in the business? So we're going to be kind of waiting for everything to kind of crank out here and get started. But I just, uh, so if you're catching me on the replay, of course you can't make a comment, but if you are live with us and you want to join the show, all you have to do is click the link up there and uh, you can join in or to be able to make a comment on the show, you may have to click the, uh, the like the stream guard page because we love this new platform that's been delivered out for us. It's, it's like huge. So what, what, what happens if you can, Begin to create a stream of business for your business. Can you handle what happens in business? People often say, yes, I can. Often the reality is they're not prepared to because they haven't set themselves up to take business in mass quantity, right? It's like if you handle one customer, new customer at a time every day, yeah, you could handle that. But what, what happens if you had 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 100 new, biz, uh, new customers in a day? Could your system handle it? Could your phone system handle it? Could your email system handle it? Could your... Could your inventory handle it? Could your staff handle it? Could your employees handle it? Could you handle it? Well, I would like to think yes, but most more time than not, we can't. We can't. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about this today and, 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 and put some things out there for us to think differently and give us time to prepare as we go into the holiday season for more business, right? For more business. And let's take a look at that today and how that can work for us. So we've been talking about, uh, if, you, if you saw the introduction there, we talked a little bit about, uh, we showed these, these five books that we've been working through, and we're going to kind of give you a little bit of some cliff notes here of, of what's going on in the book uh, to kind of give you some thought-provoking uh, ideas, right? Thought-provoking ideas. So the first book, the first book we're going to talk about is the Dream 100 book, the Dream 100 book. And uh, while the book is... Uh, it's fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, it's, you know, the, the, the printing is, uh, you know, is spread apart. So it's a lot thicker than it really is, just to be honest with the book. But it, got, it has some great ideas in it. It has some great ideas in it that you need to think about and come at from a different direction. So imagine, imagine you are, uh, you, you are in the lead generation business and you sell leads to uh, air conditioned people or you're in the roofing lead generation business and you sell leads to roofing to roofers uh, or say you're in uh, some kind of network marketing business and you and you're trying to get more people in that say you're in the hair salon business and and you're looking to get more leads into that so how would you as a as a business owner who's trying to work with that business and create more business for them what's the fastest path for you to get more businesses right to deal with, to, to, that is to market to, to have, have to help them market their business. What's the fastest way? Well, oftentimes it's it's uh, we do things like Facebook ads, or we do we do phone blitzes, or we we do we run some kind of uh, Google ad clicks or anything like that. We we take this mass marketing approach to getting a bunch of customers, uh, hoping that somebody will find it, hoping somebody will call us, and then we sell them this process. What if you didn't have to do it that way? What if you have to do it that way? That's what this book is about. What if you don't do it that way and you find another way where they're coming to you because of who sent them there? We all know referral marketing is, is a huge component because it eliminates the fear factor, the danger, the stranger danger factor where people are like, I don't know who these people are. I don't know if they can do any kind of work. I don't know what they've got. Uh, I don't know if they're going to produce or not. If somebody says, hey, I recommend. Matter of fact, I had a phone call today from a friend who, who'd had a, a problem in their kitchen and he was calling me saying, hey, do you have a plumber that you can recommend? Uh, and just based on that factor alone, he was willing to listen to what I had to say about who he should go get. Right. Just based on the fact that, do you know somebody? And so the referral factor is huge. The referral factor is huge, but even more uh, more of a player in the process for what you can do in your business is how can you get to be a part of somebody else's business without them 
uh, control in your business? How can you just be integrated into the idea of their business? And, and that's, that's one of the secrets in this book right here, the Dream 100 book is one of the secrets is what they call, he calls integrated marketing. That is, so every time you reach out, every time, every time somebody that he talks about in here does business with their client, their customer, they're actually putting your customer, your client out in front of everybody as well. So think about that from this perspective. So let's go back and let's talk about, say your ideal client is air conditioned contractors. Uh, or your, your, your client is hair salon or your client is a restaurant or your client that you're trying to help them market to their perfect client. How do you get people engaging with you as somebody who can market to them? Say you're a book author and you want to sell your book to somebody. How do you, how do you get that to happen in a big way so that you not, you're not growing incrementally a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little but you're like, Shh, and you, you get you get there quickly. So let's talk a little bit about that. How would you do that? Well, the idea in the Dream 100 book is that you go out here and first of all, you 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 of course have determined what it is you can deliver. Okay, what it, whether that's a product or service uh, yourself uh, or, or some some process, some piece component of that that you're going to deliver this to a client in the end, or you're going to provide for them. And I'm using the service industry. Uh, uh, as, as an example to kind of help you wrap your head around this idea. What you could do is go after them one at a time, which is what oftentimes you can go to, you can go to network meetings. You can, you can join the chamber of commerce. You can do ads on Facebook. You can do pay for ads on, on Google. Uh, you can yet run yellow page. I mean, uh, uh, Craigslist ads, you can do all kinds of things. I mean, you can hire an airplane with a banner. You can ride it in the sky. You can get a billboard. You can do, you can do the one approach, right? You can do the one approach. But what if you took an approach that brought you uh, them in a wave? Now, I'm, I'm telling you this because you, before you say yes, you have to think about, can I handle the business? Because I, I hear business people say this all the time. Oh, yeah, I can handle the business. And then when they get it, they, their, first, their first complaint is, hey, turn the faucet off. Turn the faucet off. Where I, I can't handle this much business because they don't think you can deliver. Right. You don't think they can you they don't think you can deliver. So the idea of, of the of the Dream 100 book starts with the concept and idea that you're going to go to people who are going to put you in front of not one or two people at a time, but 10, 20, hundreds, maybe thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people in one shot from the position of I'm referring his this person's business to you, the person who needs your business. Right. So let's go back to HVAC. So an example oftentimes is we call them up, we do voice drops, we do email marketing, nothing wrong with any of these things. We do text messaging, we run ads, we do all these things to try to get our business in front of them, hoping that they will do business with us. But there's a simpler, easier way. What if, what if I told you, well, wait a minute, stop and think about it. Make a list of people who, influence those people who those people go to for things that they use in their business. Example in the air conditioning business is what if you went to the air conditioning supplier to the local supply store where they buy all their stuff? What if you went to the local association of air conditioning people? What if you went to what if you partnered with them? What if what if you only had to get one of them to get hundreds of air conditioning companies? Would that change the game? Because if you know how much an air conditioner contractor is worth to you, let's just say they're worth uh, $500 a month for mass sake, that's $6,000 a year. How much money would you spend? How many do you say you want? You need 10, that's $60,000 a year. How much would you spend to be able to get in front of the air condition contract, uh, the air condition supply store, or the air condition association. Well, what would you spend to get in front of them so that you could get all those people at once? So that every time they sent out a promotion for a new product or a special that they're running on their products, you're a part of that market that goes out. In other words, they're marketing you for them. And, and uh, if, uh, th it's huge. 
it's huge. So the dream, uh, the dream, the one idea of the Dream 100 is go to, and we've all heard this called influence marketing. Go find out, make a list of the the people who can who can put you in front of hundreds, thousands of people, and work on getting that sale, which is not any harder than getting a sale to an air conditioning contractor or to a hair salon owner or to a restaurant owner or to a plumber or to an author or to a speaker, go get in front of that person. Spend your money on getting somebody who can put you in front of your target audience over and over and over again. And it will just integrate that into what you're doing. Who will integrate that into what you're doing? It is, that is the different idea that comes out of, that's one of the ideas that comes out of the Dream 100 book is to pursue it from that perspective. All right, so got a question so far? Got a question so far? Anybody, you can type that in. If you're typing that in on, uh, on my uh, profile page, I'll have to look over there and see what it is. And I can do that because I have it open over here. And let's see what anybody might be saying. Or if you're on one of my business pages, you can also talk about it from that page, right? You can talk about it from that page. So if you're if you're looking at this process, right? This process of growing your business, how can I get it in front of? How can I get it in front of somebody who is looking for my services? Well, first of all, you do research on who would be the top people that align with what your what your product or your service is. Who who are those people? Second part of that research would be about uh, is what what is the uh, their ability to be open to partnering with you. That is to integrate what you do into what they do so that every time they promote whatever it is they're promoting cuz cuz they've already paid to get customers and they're going to promote you in the in the process for that, right? In the process for that. Well, who are those people? Who are those people? And then what size is their list that they have? Are they promoting to 10? Are they promoting 100? Are they promoting to thousands? And their ability to bring people to market for you, right, for you is huge. Now, in the concept of that is not, not, not difficult for some types of businesses. And, and if you're into internet marketing, you understand that, you know what this is called. It's called affiliate, an affiliate marketing strategy. Well, and of course, an affiliate marketing strategy uh, requires you need to get, if you're going to be successful at it, of course, is an affiliate manager. So you're looking for somebody who can help you get in front of people who are the right people, your dream 100 people. So you, you need to do research about that. You need to figure out how can you integrate something in your business into their business so that every time they promote their business, to their clients, which they've already paid for, which they've already spent money for, and they've already gone through the trust, no like and trust factor. They already have that, that, that you're just a part of that. You're not, you're so to speak an appendage to the process so that you gain opportunity. It would be much like a chiropractor partnering and going after dentist, right? Why? Because, well, I'm going to help straighten out your body and get you feeling well on the inside and on the outside. Won't you do that for your teeth? And, and so every time the, the, the chiropractor or the dentist promotes teeth, whatever it is, teeth whitening or, or braces or whatever is it alignments, right? They also promote the, the, the chiropractor and vice versa. See, that's how you create those kind of partnerships for what you're talking about, what we're talking about here. So, so become for a reality for all of us, it becomes, it becomes who, who are those people and who are they connected to? So I, I would encourage you to get, get the dream 100 book and begin to read through it. Not, not everything may not apply to your business, uh, but the principles will apply. The concept and idea is supply. And I'll tell you this, it, the hardest part is being disciplined to work through getting the hundred. And so, you know, start off with five, start off with 10, start thinking through that process to help make that work. Uh, and, and that is, is a huge process for you because when you do that, you are ramping up your capabilities to, to, to bring a bunch of business in all at once and on a repetitive basis. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Glad to have you on the show. So that, that becomes an important component. So look at 
who is connected to a larger group of your, your ideal clients? Who are those people? And how do you get them to promote you every time they promote to their clients and customers? How do you do that? So if you, if you take that, so if say, if you're a roofer, if you want to get roofers in your, uh, in your marketing portfolio and you have a product that you can market to roofers, you don't try to go find roofers one at a time. You go to the roofing supply store where roofers buy their products and services because they're constantly getting, oh, here's a, here's a new product we're servicing. Here's an update about this product. Here's, here's information you need to know about this product. Here's a webinar on this product. So they're getting information from their supplier who they know, like, and trust all the time. What if you could attach yourself to that so that every time that is, that is uh, promoted, right? By the, by the supply store, it, they promote you. And so therefore you're looking at a bunch of people at once, not just one person. So that, that's a component that you can pursue. And that can, that can, that goes through with plumbers and roofers and, and any kind of service industry that goes somewhere to buy their product to service their customers, that's the person you go after in the in this idea of the dream 100. So that that would be a, a way to go about doing that. Joining organizations that have numerous uh, businesses in it uh, is partnering with them helps you be able to do that kind of thing. So ho hopefully today's idea of starting out the process of if I take these five books, what can I do with them? The cliff notes on this is, is do your research as to who the people you're trying to, to, to uh, have as a customer, as, as your client, who, who do they go to? Who, who can you reach out that already has influence with them, has buy-in with them? Who can, you can attach what you do to what they do so that's just a natural hand in glove kind of thing. And go go pursue those people because it's easier to go after one of them and get one of them than it is to go to try to get 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 100 or 200 or 500 or 1,000 prospects in the other field because they already listened to this one. They already connected to that person. So hopefully that helps you today to begin to get your wheels to kind of turn. We'll be coming back and continuing more in this story about, well, how do I, how do, what is it I need to know about the Dream 100 process that can help me? start growing my business so that as I do that, my business doesn't grow ones and twosies. You know, it grows in leaps and bounds because I have connected to it. And that gives you time to begin to realize I'm, I, I'm going to have to ramp up everything I do. I'm going to train my employees better. I'm going to have to have a better follow up, follow through system. I'm, I'm going to have to have more inventory. I'm going to have to have, I'm going to have to have uh, empl more employees or I'm going to have to have more space or whatever it is you have to have. That is the way to go about doing that, is to think through that process. But again, you're going to have to give it some thought. But be thinking in your industry, who, who are the people that already have leverage with my ideal customer client and that I could get in front of and sell them my service and let them sell my service to their clients and customers? All right. Hey, thanks for being with us today. Glad to have you with it. If you'd like to know how to use this tool, you can, of course, uh, also click up there and find out here's how you use this tool because it is a great tool for you to use if you do live streaming. And we'll be talking about how do you get yourself in front of audiences like this as well in the days ahead. So, hey, thanks for being with us. We'll talk to you soon, probably tomorrow, as we talk about the next step in the Dream 100. See you soon. Bye-bye.